Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to remove phone number for iMessage and FaceTime on iPhone and iPad. If you use iMessage and FaceTime, you might be interested in updating or removing the phone number you used with your account at some point. Perhaps you had a second line that you are no longer using, or maybe you no longer use a particular phone number, for example. If that's the case, let me show you how to remove phone number for iMessage and FaceTime on iOS or iPadOS. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. Most of us are already aware of how popular Apple's FaceTime and iMessage services are among Apple users as they offer a free and convenient way to communicate with other iPhone, iPad and Mac owners. If you are using an iPhone, your phone number is used to activate iMessage and FaceTime by default. However, you can use your Apple ID for these services as well and once you set this up, you can remove your phone number without worrying about deactivation. To get going, simply launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, scroll down and then choose messages. Next up, tap on send and receive. Now, if you want to remove an activated phone number, simply tap on the phone number located under. You can receive iMessages to and reply from. Next, choose remove to stop using the phone number for both iMessages and FaceTime. Now, if you want to reactivate your phone number at any point of time, simply head over to the same menu and then tap on the phone number to proceed. You will be informed regarding carrier activation charges. Simply tap on OK to confirm. It's worth pointing out that it could take a minute or two for the activation process to complete, so you will need to be a bit patient with it. Keep in mind that if you do this without setting up an iMessage email address, you won't be able to use iMessage or FaceTime unless you activate your phone number again. By doing this, you can keep texting other iMessage users and make video calls over FaceTime without having to reveal your actual phone number. That's pretty much it. So that's the way you can remove phone number for iMessage and FaceTime on iPhone and iPad. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.